Hi, my name is Mark, and we're in the warehouse at Wiesman U.S. headquarters in Warwick, Rhode Island, where I'm going to go over how to safely transport the Vito Crosso 300 CU3A model boilers. So, the safest way to move these around is to only transport them from the one side that is reinforced to protect the boiler. So there are two different ways that you can find out which side is the right side to, to transport the boiler from. And the first one is to check the bottom where they have all the symbols and look for the side that doesn't have this specific symbol, which means not to truck from that side. The other way that you can find the side is by looking for this little uh, literature uh, compartment on the side of the boiler because that is the same side as the reinforced one. So now let's go over the two most common ways that uh, people transport these boilers incorrectly and we'll go over some tactics that you can use to, uh, to ensure that you don't damage the boiler. A forklift can be used to pick up the boiler from any side so long as you keep it horizontal. Because these boilers are top heavy, it is very easy to tip them over, which will result in denting the boiler. So if you must tip the forklift for any reason, it's best to pick the boiler up from the side that is reinforced. If you need to use a hand truck to move these boilers, then you must do it from the reinforced side. And these are fairly large and bulky boilers, so you should use at least two people, especially when picking the boiler up and when you set it back down. This way you can be sure that the hand truck won't dent the sides or the bottom of the boiler. Exercise extreme caution when moving these boilers because they can weigh anywhere between 269 and 352 pounds depending on the model. Once you get the boiler out of the packaging, it's very easy to see which side of the boiler is reinforced and you can use the hand truck to take it off of the pallet and then you'll find it a lot easier to maneuver and move it around.